Hey guys, Shrek Kevin John, come back to another Diablo Immortal video. This one is going to be a very quick one. Uh, saw some discerning news on Twitter actually earlier this morning and last night. And I kind of wanted to talk about it because I know we've, we've not gotten a lot of information back from Blizzard about Diablo Immortal lately as of the launch of the newest update as far as at least in their official channels. Uh, so it's really interesting to see some of the stuff that we're seeing right now and let's just kind of talk about it briefly. So a lot of you guys know, uh, obviously, I have spent, um, I wouldn't say a like a whale amount of money at the, on this game in proportion to a lot of others, but I have spent a considerable amount of money. And I've always been transparent with you guys about this, that, you know, I'm at, it's like $2,500 is what I've spent on the game so far. And what I've gotten is a little over the 2K resonance. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'm not any cosmetics and I spent it nine out of 10 times on orbs, rain, press to, to get more gems, to get more resonance, right? I feel like that's what a lot of people have done when they spent money on these types of games and that's okay like that's that's you know supporting your 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 developer whatever the case may be you're going to come over here and you're going to want to like you know buy some things if you have the means to obviously not everyone does i know this has been a very controversial topic that we've we've discussed time and time and again when it comes to diablo immortal well so my surprise and my shock yesterday when i was uh i, I was at home i was going to record a video for immortal and, you know, I just didn't really have a whole lot of time, but I wanted to go ahead and check my socials first before I went to bed. And I kept having to stroll across one that was interesting. I was like, well, what is what is this? What is this about? And actually what it was about is uh, I got a screenshot um, that was posted on Twitter that uh, in the EU or uh, yeah, it was a EU person or whatever had actually posted their, their shop. And they're like, wait, why did my price go up 20 percent? Um, so they've actually adjusted prices in the EU now. I'm very curious if this is a retaliation to the fact that um, the, the 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 currency conversion that people are u- utilizing with like Brazil and Egypt and all those other countries where you can buy orbs for cheaper if you convert your Google Play over to that currency or that country and purchase it that way, uh, which technically isn't against terms of service from Blizzard. If you look at their their dirt terms of service, it's not actually all that long, to be honest with you. I've looked at it. Um, but I'm wondering if they're trying to price fix a little bit, or is this something going on with uh, what we have going around the world, where a lot of these companies and uh, like the play stores are actually adjusting the prices for um, inflation, uh, deflation, and well, I shouldn't say deflation. I don't think that's happening anywhere, right? I think for the most part, everything's inflating. But uh, also just to curb the fact that like the value of the euro and stuff has been going down versus uh, what it used to be, right? Like it's almost equal to the USD, and used to be it used to be. A, Kind of a significant more like worth right um i'm not really sure what the what the point is here or why they've done this um it, it seemed a little odd that um for the same thing like up until a week or two ago they were able to buy all of their orbs the same at the same price as the the usd so i'm not sure what the plan is here with blizzard or if, if this is even blizzard doing it but it's very interesting because they haven't given us anything like to show what what would trigger this right we've, we've got a lot of things in the game so like that just aren't being discussed or told with us or communicated with us i should say like for example um getting the whole like um the guild stuff right like the uh where is it uh the war band if you wanted to go ahead and max out your war band um activity here we used to go and run a bunch of heliquary raids to go ahead and max this out and today's saturday we're gonna try to see if i can't get my war band together to max this out uh, but we used to just go and run Hellquery rates. That's no longer a thing. Like we, we can't do that. Like that's they've, they've disabled it. They've kind of hard capped it. Now they did change it to where Hellquery raids you can still get uh, points, but the only way you can get the points right now is if you come down here. Sorry, I should have should have started the video in this area. But if we come down to this area and we go ahead and we come over here, you can get individual points for each one of these. Notice that you have your eighty here for each Warband activity. So you can run each individually one time and get the 80 points. But used to, we used to be able to run these infinitely and stack them up quick. Uh, now it looks like we're gonna have to be able to run these once a, once, once a time. And then we're gonna have to go into Warband activities and do a lot of endless defenses or a lot of other type activities to boost and get that maxed out, which I think, I don't know why they shadow nerfed this. That wasn't, um, there wasn't an announcement for this. When you go to like 
their website or whatever, there was no information that says, hey, like, you, this is not part of, like, what, what we're trying to do here. This is, sorry, we, we, miss, we misdid this one. No, 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 no. This was literally... It, they just happened one day. Uh, it was actually funny. Build Shot and uh, Darth Micro kind of figured it out for us one day when we were in voice chat. And we're like, wait, what? And they're like, yeah. So we tested it. I tested it. It was been a shadow change. And we were informed. Now, same with I talked before about um, I brought up a concern where spooning was back for mobile, but it was still banned for um, the PC, right? Like that was a problem. There was some some glitch somewhere. Because mobile can click the button for over the 10 minutes and not get shut off. Obviously, like a monk um, and some other classes that move while they do the primary, they will never get, they never will have to worry about like being banned for spooning. But then now we got a shadow nerf again for the fact that when you're, say, for example, you're AFK farming, let's say, for example, I was just right here and all I was doing was just attacking. Um, if I was in the open world right now where enemies were spawning, if I did this for the 10 minutes and my abilities kept going, because say I was on mobile, um, there would be a like acid rain that would come on you and then that would kill you, right? So that would stop, prevent people from, from macro farming or whatever, um, which I think is a good change. Once again, that's the shadow change. Like, why is it that there's, they're doing a lot of this stuff and we're not getting informed directly from the appropriate channels? It's, it's a little... It's a little dis dis disheartening. Um, I was actually really excited about Blizzard's change with the new content. I was excited that, hey, server transfers are coming. It seemed like they were listening. Like even when we were talking to uh, the data miner, right? Uh, he was giving us a lot of information here of changes and updates that he was seeing in file sizes in different locations of the game, which shows that something's gonna be coming or getting ready for us. And even though they weren't like game breaking changes, there were still changes that showed what we were asking for we were getting right and which is huge like any game you play right no one's ever going to be a 10 out of 10 and just nail it there always are going to be some problems there's always going to be some bugs there's, it, that's just how it is right it's just the way of the world but if they give us even just small things showing hey we're going to listen to you and we're going to give you a little bit of what you're asking for that's massive because that shows that we aren't being ignored um so the fact that now in the EU, they're being charged an additional 20, 20 euro for a hundred dollar pack here or 20 or 20% 20 increase all across the board. Like that's, I don't know what's going on or why they wouldn't announce that or why they wouldn't say like, Hey, due to price fixing or Hey, due to the Google play or iTunes play store agreement, yada, 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 we have to now give them this and we want to keep our, our margins the same some sort of announcement would have been nice unfortunately this has not been the case this was released this information of uh of the post that i just brought up was actually released as of october 7th uh at 5 a.m my time so it's been a couple of days now and we still haven't heard from them obviously it's the weekend so i doubt blizzard has a statement that they release and honestly this is something where i don't even see them releasing an announcement so it's, it's a little disheartening um let me know down in the comments below what are your takes on it like is this is this kind of like it's a little sketchy like what, what, what's the general populace thinking about this because this is kind of something i don't know like this doesn't feel good let's put it that way it just doesn't feel good so let me know down in the comments below and i'll catch you guys in the next one have a good rest of your day peace